In this video I'll be showing you how you can fix the black box issue on Lord of the Rings Conquest for PC. Before we dive into this I want to say that the black box issue only applies to the campaigns within Lord of the Rings Conquest. If you are just playing the instant action mode of Lord of the Rings Conquest this will not apply to you as there are no cutscenes in that that cause this issue. There are two ways to resolve this issue. The main way is to limit the game's frame rate and then this won't happen to you. If you do do this method by limiting the frame rate which will be the second method that I will be showing in this video later on then just bear in mind that if you play at 120 frames for example that if you play the campaign stuff then you will not be able to play with that frame rate so you will be limiting it down if you then want to go and play the instant action at a higher frame rate you can do so you will just need to change some settings around that you'll see later in order to be able to do this also AMD users I have no idea if the second method will definitely work for you as unfortunately I do not have an AMD graphics card or or its utility to test this out on so I cannot check that. If the second method does not work for you AMD users you can use the first method which is why I'm going to cover it in this video. You should all at this point have selected your resolution and also refresh rate for your monitor within the options menu to what you want. For me I've got it set to 4k 144hz but you guys might be different just select what is ever right for you. So the bug that we're covering today is basically during the cutscenes of the main campaign missions. What you'll notice is when when you play through the campaign missions you'll see mini little cutscenes that showcase certain parts of the level or like a particular event that's going to happen in the level what happens is a black box will appear on the screen to start with you'll see the cutscene and then after that the black box will get stuck on the screen and you won't be able to see anything this is what we're going to remove in this video so the first method here to remove it if you want to do it the simple way which also means that it looks messy and this is why this is not the ideal way if you are a content creator who does videos or streaming because this will just look stupid on your videos and streams which is why I recommend that every single one of you does the second method unless you are struggling because you're an AMD user all you have to do here is simply open up the options menu come over to vsync and simply just tick off vsync or tick on vsync depending if you have it on or off to begin with and this will slightly get rid of the black box on your screen you then repeat that same process again a second time and then that black box will be gone from your screen this is the quick method to fix it like I said but it's not an ideal method and it's one that involves you having to open up a menu and change an option every single time. Okay so the second method here on how to fix this black box issue within Lord of the Rings Conquest. This is the best method in my opinion and the ideal one that everyone should try and use and especially you content creators you must choose this really if you want to cover your content of this game in a good way. If you have the game open already make sure you close it then come to your desktop. You simply want to right click your desktop like so and come down to where it says Nvidia control panel. This will open up Nvidia your control panel like so you want to come over to this left hand side column here and select manage 3d settings once you click that over here on the right it will open up the manage 3d settings area you then want to click on this little tab called program settings once you do this you will then want to select your game now your game might be in the drop down box like it is for me here right away so if you click this drop down it will list like loads of different applications and games on your system in my case i already have lord of the rings conquest as you can see the exe file right there but if it's not in this list here for for you then that's fine you can click on the add button once you do that this box will then open up again check this section here where all these games and programs will be in the list and again you might find it in the list so for me there's Lord of the Rings Conquest once again in the list however if it is once again still not in this list for you you can then click this which is browse so up on the screen for you right now is the default install location for where Lord of the Rings Conquest is normally installed on a PC if you chose to install it to its default location then this is where you will go in order to find the Lord of the Rings Conquest exe file however if you're like me and you installed it in a slightly different location that's absolutely fine I'm just going to show you roughly where you would find this okay so here here we are in the browsing file so we're going to go over to where I have it installed which for me is on my three terabyte hard drive and then we have it over here Lord of the Rings Conquest and then once we open it up you can see right there is conquest.exe and all we have to do is simply just double click it this will then open the Lord of the Rings Conquest.exe within the manage 3d settings area once we have this open we simply want to scroll down like so until we get to this setting here called max frame rate we want to open this up so we get this drop down box 
we then want to click on and then you simply over here just want to type in 60 once you've typed in 60 like so you can then click OK and then you can come down to the bottom right here and click apply so now that you've applied that setting if you go back and load up Lord of the Rings Conquest now and go into one of the campaign missions and once again just play up to a point where you have one of those mini cutscenes you should notice now when you get to the end of that mini cutscene that the mini cutscene will slowly fade off of the screen and you will be able to see like normal once again rather than that black box being stuck on your screen all the time this now means that you'll be able to play both the good and the evil campaigns and go through the whole things with the cutscenes working normally and you'll be absolutely fine however if you want to play the instant action within the game as i mentioned earlier on in the video you can still do that with a higher frame rate so if you have limited your frame rate to 60 frames in the video control panel you can simply go and turn that off or you can limit it to a different frame rate if you wish for the instant action and that's all there is to this video i hope you guys found it useful if you need another guide on how to fix a different game on pc or other lord of the rings games i'll have links to those down in the description as well as the pinned comment likewise if you have any questions at all and you need some help with this leave a comment and i will try and get back to you as soon as i can otherwise i'll see you all in the next video